Whether it's Alex Honnold scaling all sorts of structures in San Francisco, or Sasha DeJulian climbing New York's Red Bull Arena, urban climbing, also known as buildering, is gaining attention. I mean, buildering kind of falls into a couple of different categories. It's a little bit of parkour, it's a little bit of urban exploration, uh, and it's obviously climbing as well. It doesn't really fit into any of those three categories. It kind of draws on all three of them and can be as formal or as informal as you want it to be. I think that it's just a really rad way of taking advantage of your resource. I mean, if you live at a place where, you know, the gym's 20 bucks a day or it's an hour drive away, but you've got like a rad building to mess around on and get like a nice pump going in an hour, like that's close by, of course, dude, that's sick. You know, I know that even if you go on like Mountain Project or other online resources for climbing, you can find like, you can find topos and maps and beta and everything for building stuff. It's not that they're going out and thinking, well, I can't reach the rock, what else can I climb? It's more a case of that they're just walking past something and go, oh, okay, I could climb that. You kind of develop a vision when you become a climber and that kind of extends into other aspects of your life as well. We're like obsessed creatures and so you know, everyone's been in their kitchen and like, you know, like crimped the cabinet or whatever. And so I think it's only natural that you're gonna find like weird holds and you're gonna get psyched to climb something. Climbing up a rock anyways, is kind of, you know, a pretty funny pursuit in and of itself. So there's nothing wrong with like climbing up some weird buildings. In Europe, the urban climbing scene is growing steadily. There are building communities in major cities across the continent and even urban climbing competitions with hundreds of participants and spectators. The sport is still pretty underground in the States, but with the explosive growth in urban climbing gyms, buildering might just be the next natural step for climbers to get a good pump while exploring the cities around them. I would love to see some more like comps and stuff like that happen in the US. There's probably a lot going on out there as far as like buildings and structures that have really cool they have really cool potential. I could see it like cracking open and seeing videos and stuff like that for sure. I could totally see people getting into it.